and welcome to another episode of Cooperatives Date, date night. night. Spoopy Date Night, because we're playing Until Dawn. Which is like Cabin in the Woods, of like cheesy horror movie, but not quite cheesy because I heard this game is absolutely terrifying, so. Yeah, like, I, and, and this is going to be another one of those. Let's see if I get terrified, too. Um. Warning ahead, I may scream really loudly and cry. I apologize. Those of you who have heard the uh, the story mode about the scariest games, you know I don't do well with horror. So. Yeah, and that's the funniest thing about this. <laughs> Taylor not only said we should play Until Dawn, she handpicked that game. Well, Chris wanted me to do Amnesia. Well, sure. But you handpicked this game. Mm-hmm. But not only that... You've been, like, pressuring me to play it in my laziness in the last couple days. Well, I didn't want Chris getting on our case. <laughs> Either way, Taylor's playing. I'm sitting back and enjoying the ride. Uh, I, I'm going to this cold. As I understand, Taylor has played or er, seen? I've seen Markiplier play a few uh, episodes. Okay. So, she might have a better idea of what's happening. I have no clue. So, we'll see what happens. I wanted to keep it as fresh as possible. Hit new story. Let's do this. Gun it. Ooh, a butterfly. Oh, wow. Okay. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Yeah. That is, uh... It's always a concept about time. Like travel that I, I don't know... It might be the one. Smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting because as I understand, it's completely like choice, like almost like a telltale game. And that like... If I played this game, it could be very different. Yeah. Choose your actions carefully. Oh, look. A cabin in the woods. Hmm. 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 It's all snowy, all Tim burton -y. Possibly full of teenagers. Oh, look. Oh, man. Are they about to start bumping uglies? That's usually how this shit goes. Bumping uglies. That is the one way to put it. <laughs> Knocking boots. That's an old term. Ha ha ha. We're teenagers. Oh my god. I can't fucking actually do this. Dude, you're asking me to get so little. Oh, come on. She deserves it. This is how people die. I don't think he She's dead. Oh, that's shitty. <laughs> so, what's happening here? I'm guessing they did a... Like, someone has a crush on Mike. And they're probably setting this up and... Setting up a prank to... Exactly how people get killed. It's probably gonna be that poor girl. Mike. It's always like the innocent yeah. that get like punished in this yeah. shit. <laughs> hey Hannah. Oh, we got some passed out drones. And oh, a creepy man. Hey. Is this like a serial killer game? I thought it was a monster game. Oh, Are you in control? Oh, yeah. God. Why do I get the feeling I know how this game is starts? Like, I think I've seen the intro to this game somewhere. Jeez, Josh. Yeah, you... Oh. Yeah, you drunk.
think so down Hannah's hair. That's what I was saying. Hannah's a cute girl. Oh my god. Why are they like Why are my sister and herself into now? Oh no. That's her sister. He's gonna get a hatchet in the face. Oh god. The graphics move a little weird. Oh my god. Oh he's uh, filming! And a selfie stick. Cold without a coat? Yep. <laughs> That's how all the teenagers die. Hypothermia. Uh oh, make a choice. Find the others. Yeah, because I feel like waking up the drunk isn't gonna be. Oh, she put on a coat quick. I literally hate that phrase now. What? It's just a prank. Yeah. Well, all these Beckys here. Fucking. being bitches. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, I have seen this intro. Okay, so you have a bunch of timed events. Yep. Ooh, wow. Good question. Oh man, I I feel like these kind of timed actions are gonna be a lot harder later. Yeah. It it seems like Follow noise. She's like running from something, but I know she's looking for Hannah. And probably just panicking because she also saw someone else outside. Yeah. Besides Hannah. Uh oh. I hear sobbing, so. Why? Wow, somebody just ran off to the right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Turn around, hatch to the face. You are just <laughs> wanting the hatch to the face, man. I just, I'm calling it. It, ha it will happen. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, I like that. That's a really clever use of the game. Or of modern technology in a game. Yeah, this is very clever. Uh... It's always this weird thing in, like, horror movies. Like... It, so, a lot of times it feels like the characters are aware that there's a threat before, like, one is introduced. <gasps> Dear! Oh, hell that one to walk faster. Is she wearing yoga pants? No, she's wearing jeans. Okay. That's sad. It just seems like a dumb idea. Correct oh. me if I'm wrong. <gasps> but. Oh. Uh. What? Uh, death totem. It is trying to believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future, a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the event of the past will become clear. So that was your death we saw. Yeah. And that's cracking your head. Or oh, cracking your body. Uh, yeah, some form of that. I like how she walked away from it going, well, that was weird. It's like, thinking nothing of it. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna need some Danny Elfman music going in here. A little bit of a choir in the back. What the fuck?
Uh. What? That wasn't a human noise. So maybe this is a monster game. I'm calling it now. That dude we saw is probably like the old man Jank, and she's just like, You need to be careful! There are monsters in these woods! Especially because that thing looked like it had a predator vision. Okay. Dragon in these woods? Hold on! There be dragons here. What the? He's holding his hand out. Oh shit. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna drop Hannah. I'm so sorry. Oh my. God! Well. I have a feeling that either way you would have died. Well, if you let go. Yeah, you would have fallen. Oh. What? Yeah, I, I, I read the bag in the box briefly. Um, as I understand, that's just... Holy shit! This is a star-studded cast. You see, no one can change without last year. The past is beyond our control. Uh, Peter Stormare? There's freedom. This revelation. Everything you do every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to command well, he didn't really give us a... Okay. And I want to help you to get through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be really scary. Even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Hmm? All right. We'll start with the simple exercise. Can you please pick up So let's see what's on this card. What the? It's not hand you got there. Huh. That's a little creepy. Ah, oh, scarecrows? Never creepy. Never been a movie whatsoever where it's creepy. It makes you feel uneasy. <laughs> it's the scarecrow. Scarecrow. Out there alone? If the scarecrow wasn't there, would you feel comfortable? I wouldn't, personally. I would. It's fine. Go ahead. If you wouldn't, you I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Why not? Why not? Um, I'd be lonely. I don't... Interesting. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the long of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future.
That just leaves me even feeling more unsettled. I feel like that whole exercise just set up certain things how the rest of the game might play out. I know this is a long ass intro now. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Just odd. Which are uh, a really fascinating concept to me. I feel like good that those aren't utilized a lot in horror. Um. No. And considering they operate in a very creepy way, uh, from what I understand, the way Wendigos work. And oh my god, the first time I ever found out about a Wendigo, well, how. what the mythology behind a Wendigo was, I was watching your parents' place. Um, when you guys went to Cancun? No, Mexico? Yeah. Second dick. <laughs> I really want to spend some quality time with the, each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Out. Did that guy all just win an award for an Emmy for Mr. Robot? I feel like he's on a lot. Hold on. I gotta figure this out. Because I'm like, that, that... with your Wendigo story. Oh, yeah, so I, I, um, I was in your, uh, your parents' place watching it, watching dog watching, whatever, and you guys had gone to Cancun, and I remember reading up about the, the Wendigo, I don't remember why. I've heard the name. I've, I'm, I'm aware that it's a concept to Native Americans. Um, but I, they operate very creepily. They they say somebody's name into they the learn wind. Your name. They learn your name. They say it into the winds in a voice that you would recognize to lure you out and to, you know, essentially feed on you. And what was really disturbing was... Uh, Taylor's parents' house 
at night just looks like it's surrounded by nothing. Oh, yeah. And so being anywhere in that house is a little unnerving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by yourself. Ugh. Ah, Creepy McCreeper. Yep. Deeper Creepers. No, this is Until Dawn. <laughs> no, yeah, this is either. Patrick! Hannah's best friend. Except for she didn't fucking try to stop the prank. She did. She was trying to find Hannah before it happened. I guess. And she remember when she was like, Hannah? But they didn't yeah. really elaborate on that. Hello? What's with that Russian hat? Someone there? Oh, she got that soft grunge thing going on. Why does it keep telling me about the camera? Because it's part of the t it's the tutorial. I know, but I feel like it's a, it's told you that tutorial hint for. No, it hasn't. It's the first time. Walking toward the creepy gate. <sighs> Gate's busted. Climb over. What? Chris. Chris. Yeah, I'm like, uh... <laughs> You're not in any hurry. I'd be ready with another. Interesting. Alright, so far so good. She's not wearing gloves. I feel like her mother. Wear some gloves. It's cold out. You're gonna freeze to death. Oh. <gasps> Is that all it takes? Have some air acorns and don't move. I could have my own. But there's literally a thing where it's like, don't move, and I can't move the controller at all. Sure, but is this how in real life I get a squirrel companion? No, it's not how you get a squirrel companion in real life. I think it is. I think you're holding out on me. No, no, no. You're not getting a squirrel companion. End you, discussion. You don't want an adorable little squirrel? No! Not even a little bit? Red butterflies. Uh, indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butter butterflies warm to dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Oh. Uh oh. Well, we, we're not sure it's another death storm artifact. Okay. For two, and flip it. <gasps> oh, look, a bird! But a burb. I didn't sort of. All right, so we got the first guidance totem. Whether or not prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Okay, R one at any time to view your totem collection, which is what we have right here. Oh, there's a bag. Oh, he's gonna turn sneak up and he's gonna be a bit and be a dick. Um Snoop or close the bag. Snoop. Snoop? Alright. But 
Oh, he looks like my ex. Really? Yeah. Because he looks like a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say this, but you dodged the bullet because you're not a lampshade. <laughs> he's like, this is the quiet nerdy guy that has a crush on a girl that probably doesn't reciprocate, and he's gonna kill her. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. Why? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Huh? Okay. Right around here. Blow your mind. Oh God, I'm gonna punch him in the dick. Okay. All right. So. Next among cooperatives, guys. We will, uh. See where see... this creepo is leading us. Yeah. Like, yeah. Out in the middle of the woods. Listen to this guy who looks like a clear serial killer. You know, show me her up. Next time, guys. Bye-bye.